What's up guys and welcome to a very special video. Today we're going to be ranking the best mechanics to use at every rank in Rocket League. But here's the thing, it seems like every YouTuber has a different opinion on which mechanics are the most important to use. So to try to put an end to this debate once and for all, stop it, and help pinpoint exactly what mechanics you should start using, I've brought together four of the best minds in the Rocket League tip scene. Here's how it's going to work. To start, Thanovic, Waitin' Pilkin, HK Boba and I are going to split up into four separate calls. There, I gave everyone just 10 minutes to make their own mechanics tier list purely off of instinct and personal opinion. Then, once we've completed our individual tier lists, I'm going to bring everyone back together and we're going to try to combine our lists to make the ultimate Rocket League mechanics tier list. And that's it. This is a special video, guys, so no extra YouTube stuff. Like and sub only if you want to. Enjoy. I'm going to go reverse order. Instead of starting with brown silver, I'm going to start in GC. I think air dribbling is probably a grand champ, a grand champ plus mechanic. I think the f easiest one for me to get started with would be round dribbles. You can definitely get really far with just like hook shots and cut-ins. For air dribbling, uh, should be a round champion. That's where we're actually going to start using it competitively. Air dribbling, on a, on a base scale, I believe the aerial ability isn't really there and the control of the car in the air isn't really there until that champ level. Um, I mean, any of the advanced wall mechanics like air dribbling, you want to wait until champ to actually start trying to implement these. And ceiling shot kind of goes into the same camp. Air rolling in general. I'm going to put it here because it combines with the air roll shot. Redirects are fancy as well. I feel like redirects could be, could be Grand Champ Plus. Let's go with redirects somewhere higher up. Um, I'm going to put this one here just because positioning forward is a little irresponsible if your teammates aren't actually passing you redirects. I'm going to put this one here. I would put redirects at diamond level, I'd say. Redirects, I'm going to say it here. Because you, you're having to kind of react very quickly and put on a good angle on that. Champ is like, okay, you're on the verge of being able to do more fancy mechanics, but to win games, do you need to flip reset? No. Like, you need to be able to do, like, the mechanics that are just on the edge, but will definitely beat players at that rank. So I'm thinking backboard play in champ is super important. Now, backboard play uh, on defense, this is something that should really become prevalent in diamond level. Backboard plays, I'm going to say diamond. I think one of the things definitely that, that could be champ is uh, speed flips. Here we go. Passing. This one, I would definitely put at champ. Passing, I'm going to say champ. So I put champ for passing. It's obvious. Can you trust a gold or plat player to actually give you the pass? Probably not. I'd say bare minimum. Your team has to be champ rated if you want to think about passing. So air rolling is an air roll shot. I don't believe it's a bronze or silver. I'm going to say gold to play. Air roll. I'll leave that here for now. I'd say air roll starts in champ too. I feel like too many lower ranked players try to learn air roll before they learn like like just basic aerials, like quick aerials. Um, and I'm going to regret this because you guys aren't going to be clicking on, my, <laughs> clicking on my air roll videos anymore. But in all honesty, I feel like air roll, it, it's got to be a champ plus. Uh, air roll shots. Uh, you can start doing this mechanically even from like bronze to silver or gold to plat but the time where it actually becomes essential uh, is more up to champ and grand champ uh, but overall for the time that i think you should start implementing air roll shots into your game uh, i'm gonna put that at about gold plat ceiling shots uh champ champ level ceiling shots i it's just it's one of those things that if you don't have the right aerial ability you're gonna end up in the net with no boost having never made contact with the ball and your teammate in the 2v1 it's just that kind of thing ceiling shots I'm going to put it at the end of the list in champ. All right, recoveries. This definitely is an essential no matter what rank you are, especially when you're starting. A lot of the time, you know, you'd see lower ranked players, they, they'll go up for something like for an aerial, they'll completely mess up and then their car will just completely tumble and roll and then they'll get back to defense just barely not in time. Uh, that is something that can easily be fixed uh, and easily be trained in free play. Uh, so it's definitely something that I'd recommend uh, implementing into your games at the lower ranks. 
you know what? Kickoffs should be in bronze. I feel like you should learn kickoffs first, actually. I'm going to put that at the bottom. Kickoffs. Better kickoffs. It really depends on the game mode you play. I, I think maybe diamond, maybe a little higher. You don't really need good kickoffs prior to this. As long as you can hit the ball, it's not going to really matter. So I'm assuming by kickoffs, he means like better kickoffs, like fast kickoffs. Then I'm going to say probably diamond. Flip resets, no question about it. It's just... It's basic knowledge at that point, and if you're going to move on forward into the game, you at least need to have a, a basic, like, fundamental understanding of, of the basics of the game. Basic ground dribbles, gold plat. Ground dribbles for the same reason, I'm going to say gold and plat. Ground dribbles, I was going to say gold to plat uh, for ground dribbles, but uh, now I'm starting to think bronze to silver. Saves. I would say get better at using your saves in diamond. Uh, saves, so this is pretty a pretty broad topic, but I definitely put it at bronze to silver. Speed flips. I'm gonna say don't start until uh, champ. It can be pretty uh, mechanically difficult for a few uh, for a few ranks. I've seen a few like some ranks struggle with it. I don't really recommend it until you get to the champ level where everything does start coming down to consistency and speed. I didn't learn speed flip till grand champ, so I'm gonna put speed flip in GC plus. Flicks probably diamond. Like like ground dribbles, I think you can learn before you learn flicks. Flicks diamond. I, I would put flicks around diamond, assuming we're talking about twos or threes. Shooting. Uh, shooting is super important, but with people getting better mechanics in champ is when you need to improve your shooting mechanics. You know, you know, basic shooting, gold plat. I'm going to put shooting bronze and silver. You need to learn how to shoot as, as soon as you... It is one of the fundamentals of the game. If you don't understand shooting at a base level, it's just kind of... Double touch. Getting more double touch opportunities is definitely more of a GC plus thing. I mean, you see it often in high champ, but... In Grand Champ is where it's like essential. I feel like double taps, double taps have to be Grand Champ Plus. If anything's gonna be up there, it's gonna be air dribbling at double taps. The double tap itself, if it's just you're hitting it right above the crossbar and then following it up, that's something that you can start implementing at Gold to Plat. And it's a really essential mechanic that you're gonna be using no matter what rank you are. So it's really important to start learning that earlier on. I'm gonna put double taps at, I'm gonna put them at Grand Champ Plus. I'd say air roll shots are the segue to air roll, you know, just in the air. And so I'd probably have to put air roll shots in diamond. Backboard play, holy champ. Saves. I'm gonna put it in bronze silver as well. It's just, it's core cool things. Okay, basic saves, gold plat. Now kickoffs, this is definitely bronze or silver. You should be learning those as early as possible. Kickoffs. Gold and plat again. I, I attribute gold to plat to when you are understanding the ground game completely. Uh, I'm just going to put the lob these three together. Fast aerials. Uh, maybe in plat you'll start using them. I would say you start practicing them in gold. Fast aerials. You should definitely be doing this at gold to plat. From the, the, the gameplay I've seen, I'm going to say uh, diamond level. All right. And fast aerials. Uh, that's something that I think is around gold to plat range. If anything, closer to plat. I'm gonna put camera movement. I think bronze and silver players should just get the basic understanding of that down. So I think that's gotta go at the bottom. Camera movement. Um, it's like the smallest thing to just tap the right analog stick and have a look around the, the, the field. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say gold to play. I'm gonna say you should definitely start using it early. Wall play. Uh, just like in general, being able to get consistent touches on the ball on the wall is gonna be really important here. Camera movement doesn't really even become essential until like, grand champ and then fast aerials like right at the edge of gold plat coveries diamond a lot more flying especially in like threes so having good recovery is going to be essential here shooting th this could go to either gold plat or bronze silver i'm going to put it at bronze silver I I i'd say probably diamond is when wall play becomes important like if you can wall play in diamond you are going to have a significant edge over the people who can't. Recovery should be used in bronze, uh, from what I'm saying, because there are a lot of times you're going to wipe out and like completely be off course. And the, the like, the quicker you get to understanding your car's movement, and like, if you start recovering and you just start basic recoveries, like small movements to get yourself back in the action, uh, I think it's, it's bronze to silver is when you should start learning that kind of stuff. Not exactly wave dashes and things, which I'm going to be interested if the guys have that wave dash kind of thing, but yeah. All right, in ceiling shots, uh, I consider ceiling shots easier than air dribbles, so I'm going to put that one tier below it at diamond. Recoveries, I feel like recoveries is gold and plat. Bronze and silver, it's just look, learning how to hit the ball. Like, oh, our ground, could I even put ground dribbles there? 
Flix. You should start using Flix at the gold to plat level, which is when you should start using dribbling. Getting up your ground play as early as you can is uh, important, just incredibly important. Now for the speed flip, I'm gonna put that at Grand Champ Plus. And finally for wall play, uh, I would put that at probably around gold to plat level because it's really useful to save boost and everything. Uh, and when you're driving up the wall, it's really useful to save boost so that you're not just flying straight from the ground, straight up to the ball. Camera movement. So I don't know, just because of the potential ball chasiness of plat, that's why I put camera movement here. But honestly, it is an OP mechanic that people don't use enough for all ranks. I'm very happy with these picks here. I hope <laughs> I hope we get some more people who agree with me as well. Wall play, I am going to leave at the diamond level. And that is only because the game upgrades and stops becoming so one dimensional on the ground and starts, you're in the air. It, it just, you're in the air all of a sudden. That's my tier list. I'm gonna join back with the lads now and see what they say. And then flip resets, we'll put, we'll, we'll, we'll put in bronze silver. I'm really interested to see what these guys put because the purpose of this video is to like rank these mechanics because you know, it is a very subjective thing deciding you know what mechanics go at what rank but I feel like my list is pretty fair it'll be interesting to see what other like because these guys all know what they're talking about when it comes to Rocket League like they <laughs> they have tons of videos on this stuff they might they have more experience than I do with with most of these you know most of the Rocket League teaching side of things and it's like Oh, I don't know. I'm interested to see where we put all this stuff. All right, so air dribbling. Air dribbling first. Where do you... I feel like we can all agree on this, right? I put it... <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> I put it in champ. I put uh, it in champ. Oh, yeah. I think everyone put it in champ, right? Or my nice. Brother? I put it grand champ. What? Uh, <laughs> no. I think we can yeah, all agree I put on it... this. Yeah, I, I, I feel I like it's, it it's one of those that you start learning how to do in diamond but you start actually implementing it in games in champ yeah. air roll shots i said gold to play uh i really? also put it there yeah uh, i yeah. put it way higher i oh, put it i put it in champ i, I put air roll shots in diamond yeah 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 I, I think i started learning it in diamond and then i started like doing it more consistent in champ so i put it in champ i say we put it maybe the top of flat yeah, okay i'd agree Here's here's one that I didn't know how to do. Air roll. Oh yeah, that one's kind of rough. When is it effective to learn air roll? I put this in golden plat as well. I put really? this in champ. And the only reason I kept it down at the golden plat level was air rolling. If you're like falling from a, a bad aerial uh, or something, yeah. and you're trying to land wheels oh. down. That was the only oh, reason that yeah. put me up. Just from coaching people, it feels like there's a big difference between champs and grand champ players and i feel like it's backboard play i mean i'd agree I, I would agree with that like with a uh, with backboard play where like it really takes that huge step up from champ to grand champ diamond is when the game kind of lifts from the ground consistently which is why i said i put backboard play as another aspect of covering the net uh, once the ball moves to the air oh this is tricky then so where do we want to put it i say it either goes Top of diamond or bottom champ? I'm okay with top of diamond. Mm -hmm. Top of diamond. diamond. All right, all right. Flip resets. So I think we're all in agreement here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. We all. It looks like we all put it in the same place. All right, put sweet. As a, as a ground dribbles. Momentum. What do we think about ground dribbles? So because of this ground thing, I I would still definitely put this lower than flicks, right? Like, yeah, like you said, what we run. Yeah. Uh, so, I put it so to plat. Yeah. For for me, I thought like I was thinking ground dribbles is like. Anyone can dribble the ground like oh you touch it towards the left and then you touch it towards the right Oh, and this is one that I feel like we're gonna have disagreement about ball play <laughs> uh, well, I said diamond see. so so Waiton and I had it in gold plat and then you guys had it in diamond Which is actually really relatively the same I, I think gold and plat is where the ball does end up on the wall and often enough where it's like if there's only one person in the lobby that can go up and get a consistent touch on it, even if it's not a good touch, they're gonna have a huge advantage that they can actually go up the yeah. wall. I feel like this is pretty accurate. Like if you're going through the ranks, you should generally speaking, obviously it's not perfect, right? Cause you could hit diamond without having anything in the gold plat tier list, just from having True. very good rotations and smart exactly. decision making. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you go back post, you will you will reach diamond without any <laughs> game mechanics. Yes, wait. Watch Waitin's video. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think one thing worth mentioning 
I mean, we've, we've all had comments where it's like, oh, you should learn ceiling shots and champ. I can do that in gold, you know? Yep. And I think the biggest thing to mention about that in regards to like the positioning and stuff is be mi it's being mindful of your teammates, you know? If you get blocked or you mess it up, you're leaving your teammate for a 1v2 and a, or 1v3 or whatever, 2v3. And then, you know, do you really trust your teammates in those ranks to 1v2? Because people in those ranks are the ones that are complaining about their teammate the most too, you know? true mm -hmm. in the perfect world where everybody knows how to rotate <laughs> and you never have to deal with any solo queue teammates <laughs> this is probably the fastest one of the fastest routes you can take you know change one or two here as you will this is probably one of the fastest routes you can take to learn rocket league right if you're going to learn rocket league you know this is probably starting here is where you want to, where, where you want to go yeah yeah you have a really solid foundation if you can start with flip resets yeah, for sure. <laughs> in any case, guys, thanks so much for sticking around until this point in the video. Since you did, I'm going to reward you by letting you in on a couple giveaways I'm going to be doing over on my Discord later this month. Now, as many of you know, I regularly run a monthly coaching giveaway on my Discord, but to celebrate the growth and give back this holiday season, I'm also going to be doing some signed controller giveaways as well, so stay tuned and check my Discord for more info on that. Also, one last thanks to Thanovic, Wayne Pilkin, and HK Boba for coming on today and helping me with this video. In my opinion, these guys are the best of the best when it comes to Rocket League advice and Rocket League tips, and honestly, they've inspired a lot of the stuff I do on this channel, so if you haven't already seen them, I can't overstate it. These guys are awesome. Definitely go check them out. I'll have all their links plugged in the description and a comment on screen. Um, so yeah, definitely big shout out to them. Can't thank them enough. But anyways, guys, I do hope that video is helpful. And if it was, make sure to show support by hitting like, subscribe, and all the other YouTube stuff. But that's all I've got today. So thanks again for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, guys.